it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Hip Kit Club using the August 22 kits which are absolutely stunning, possibly my favourite ever hip kit. Um, they are all exclusive products, it's the Chase the Sun collection, um, really really beautiful. And I'm playing along with our weekly challenge today, which is the September mood board, which was created by yours truly. So it's really fun to be able to work with my own mood board. And I kind of designed it with these kits in mind. So um, I found it really easy to use as well, matched the kits really nicely. So I'm scrapping a photo of my little boy and I in the sea on our recent holiday. There's a couple of beachy photos on the mood board so it kind of ticks those off nicely. And the colour scheme in my photo as well works really well with the mood board so that's another one ticked. And I've picked out my favourite paper from the collection, it's called Iced Tea and it is full of bright bold colours, absolutely love it. Um, and it's almost like someone's got a wide paintbrush and painted strips of watercolour across the page in stripes. So I've cut three of those out in colours to match my photo and obviously the mood board. We've got a pink, an orange and a lovely turquoisey blue. Um, and that kind of reminded me of the image in the bottom left of the mood board where you've got those, those paint cards. Um, they just match colours really nicely. And I'm going to have those layered in the centre of my page going horizontally. I have distressed all the edges and I've torn um, the, the ends as well. And I'm going to make those a bit shorter um, towards the end as well. I don't want them going totally across the page. Um, just sitting nicely in the centre. But I've distressed all those edges and I'm going to curl the ends to add in a bit more texture. I've used a um, die cut frame to house my photo. That is from the cardstock die cut pack in the Pocket Life Kit. And you get um, quite a few frames in that actually. And I've gone with the one with the blue, purely because it reminded me of the sea, like we're swimming in the sea, to have, to have the blue underneath us made sense. And then I want to add a little bit of mixed media to my background, nothing major, I'm not gonna get messy just wanted a bit of stenciling. So I've pulled out um, a stencil that we got in a previous colour kit and I'm gonna use some of the Catherine, ink, uh, sorry, Catherine Paula ink pads that we got previously. Now the colours in the um, August colour kit, we get three Lindy sprays. They would have worked fantastically with this layout, but I wanted to have a lot of control over my mixed media. Didn't wanna to get too messy and I wanted the um, detailing of that stenciling to show nice and clean and crisp. So the ink pads that we got previously just offered me a bit more control, which is why I went with those. But I'm a bit gutted because I would have loved to use those Lindy's Starburst sprays that we get this month. But I will be having a play with those um, with a mixed media layout later in the month. But for today, I just wanted to have a bit more control and more of a clean, crisp look. So those um, ink pads work nicely. And I've used an orange one called Tiki Torch and a blue one called Something Borrowed. And I'm just using a blending brush just to add that stenciled detail. I'm gonna extend the blue down the page a little bit because I want to add some embellishments there around my title. But you can kind of see the design I'm going for here. So with all that stenciling done on my background now, I'm gonna get those strips stuck down. I had stapled them together just to hold them in place so I could move them sort of on and off to check I was happy with my mixed media. And now I've added some double-sided tape to the back of them. I've only added it to the center at the moment because I said earlier, I do want to shorten those strips. Um, but for now, I've curled the edges around the paintbrush and I love the texture that brings to the page. I'm raising my photo up on craft foam, something I always like to do. I just find it helps the photo stand out from the page and sort of draws your eye as the focal point because that's what the page is all about really, isn't it? Documenting your photo and your memory. So I don't like my photos to get too lost on the page and I find craft foam behind them helps to prevent that. Popping my title in place now, I'm using the um, puffy stickers I mentioned from the embellishment kit, I adore these. Um, I almost bring in a second one, the word fun underneath, but I just felt like it was a bit too big um, on that section. So instead I'm going to use the um, alpha stickers that we get in the main kit and I love these gorgeous kind of bluey turquoise colour. Um, they've got lovely detailing on as well. And I'm having them kind of hickledy pickledy. Um, we were in the sea, as I mentioned, so the waves were sort of rolling around us. So I like the way that the letters there um, kind of are wavy going up and down. 
So I've got kind of the basis of the layout done now. I've got my paper strips in place. I've got my mixed media done and I've got my title down before I run out of space. Because we've all done that, haven't we? Embellished the layout and then realised we've got no space for a title. So I've got my title in place um, first, summer day, sorry, summer fun. And now I'm embellishing. So I've pulled out a palm tree from the die cut pack that we get in the main kit. Um, that's another box ticked on my um, mood board because there is a palm tree on the mood board. Um, and that die cut pack is fantastic. You get 58 pieces in that, so plenty to play with. Underneath my title, I've added some of the fabric leaves. Now, there are tropical leaves on the mood board, so that is another box ticked. But I have to take a moment just to say the fabric products that Hip Kit do have to be my favourite exclusives ever. In the August kits, you get two. You get a pack of leaves in the embellishment kit, and there are 26 in those. And you also get another pack of fabric die cuts in the main kit. And in that pack, you get 32. And I just love the texture they bring to a page. I know Fab, um, Hip Kit have done them with bows in the past, fabric bows as well. I just absolutely love them. They are fantastic. So I've added a couple of leaves under my title there. And on top of that, I've added one of the chipboard flare stickers that we get in the embellishment kit. Um, again, palm tree on that, so that matches the mood board nicely. And then that other die cut pack I mentioned, the other fabric pieces, I've added some of those to the page as well. So I've got one on top of the frame um, um, that houses my photo. And on top of that, I've added a little cheeky puffy flamingo and there's a flamingo on the mood board. So um, that's a little nod to that. And I've added a couple more of those fabric pieces as well. One, an orange one that says, look here, and a blue one that says, keeping cool. Now you will notice over on the left, I've got another pink one. And I've taken the photos of this layout. When I came to edit the process video, I noticed it had gone and I was really confused. <laughs> but I have just found it tucked in underneath my paper strips. But um, because it's not in any of the photos or anything, and I thought, you know what? I quite like the stenciling in that corner. So I've taken that off and I will use that on another layout. Um, but yeah, it just managed to get lost before I stuck it down. I've also added some gold metallic thread um, clusters. I've got one underneath the round chipboard flare down by my leaves and then another one just to the left of my photo there. And um, that's by We Are Memory Keepers and I love that stuff. And I just thought gold went really nicely with the colours in this layout. Kind of reminded me of like golden sunshine. And talking of which, I've added a couple of puffy stickers to the page. I've got sunshine up the top behind my palm tree. And then to the right of my photo, I've added a couple as well. So I've got a stripy surfboard. And that really reminded me of that image on the bottom left um, on the mood board where the um, paint cards were right arrived arranged in like strips um, according to color really reminded me of that so I've popped that down and also another one of those tropical leaves um, I just love tropical leaves and I found out recently that my favorite tropical leaf is called a Swiss cheese plant and I never knew that I am um, really bizarre and on the mood board I think it's the darker blue one on the top right hand corner but yeah called Swiss cheese plant um, so I've learned something recently but there you go, there's a bit of a useless information for you if you didn't already know that. Um, I've also just drawn some lines here for my journaling. Now, I'm not big on journaling on my pages. It's something I don't often do on the front. I tend to do it on the back, uh, mainly because I don't like my handwriting. But I just felt like this layout had the space for it and it just kind of sat right there. So I've used a gold metallic pen, um, like gel pen, just to add that in. And um, that ties in nicely with the gold thread. And I'm just finishing off with some metallic gold splatters. This is just an um, acrylic paint that I've watered down a little bit and added some splatters to finish off. And that is me done. So I hope you've enjoyed this layout and the process. I absolutely adore these August kits and I can't wait to get back at my desk and create the next layout. Um, they are just full of bright summery colours and just right up my street really. So I really enjoyed making this one. And don't forget if you'd like to join in with our weekly challenge and um, create a layout based on the mood board, you can add it to the thread in the Hip Kit Club group on Facebook. That's always a bit of a mouthful. Um, and if selected to win, you'll win a $25 gift card to the store. So don't forget to add your entries over in the group. And you don't have to use Hip Kit sub um, supplies for it if you want to use anything else in your stash, um, but do play along with us and have a bit of fun and join in. So I hope you've enjoyed this layout. I'll leave some links in the description box below for you to our website, to our subscription, page and also I will list the benefits of subscribing because there are a good few 
everybody loves discounts right um, and free access to cut files and things so i'll list those below um, and i'll also link up our facebook group for you so thanks very much for joining me and i'll see you next time